Okay, so I think, as you said, uh, Malak, there is a major update about the mm -hmm. exam, and absolutely we have to discuss that. So let me open my pen and let's discuss the major update because there are a few things you should know. Okay, I think it's a slight difference between the old and the new uh, update mm -hmm. that we have in the Duolingo exam. Let me discuss the update, the major updates uh, to the Duolingo exam. Uh, I uploaded this page and we have to discuss it uh, just to check the updates that we have uh, in this exam. The, the, the last updated about the Duolingo exam, Malik, on the 2nd of April, 2024. This is the uh, latest uh, update. So what are the major updates that happened to the Duolingo English test or exam? Okay. Now, the new thing that we have to be careful of is there is an interactive writing question or prompt. This is something new. And a new writing question is being added to the exam. You will be given a prompt, a question, or a title about something you have to write about, and you have five minutes to finish writing about this prompt. I know that this prompt is really too much. You need more than five minutes uh, just to write uh, uh, such an essay, for example. But this is an example. You only have five minutes uh, to finish uh, writing uh, about this prompt, okay? Okay. Okay. After you respond to that prompt, you will uh, then be given a second prompt. So we have two prompts in the Duolingo exam now. But in the second one, we have three minutes to respond or to write about the second prompt. And we have uh, 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 to write about this prompt, which is the second one. So the second prompt will be related to the first prompt. Absolutely, we are going to discuss this into details, but let's discuss the updates in general in the beginning. And absolutely, when reaching the section or the module of writing, we are going to discuss that into details. Okay. The second one, you have three minutes just to write about the second prompt. So this is the exact page uh, that is going to be shown next to your screen. So write about the topic for five minutes. This is the topic that is going to be shown next to you. And absolutely, this is the page or the screen or the paper that you have to uh, write about. Don't forget that you have only five minutes. I mean, it's not, you cannot, you don't have to write a complete essay uh, in, the, uh, in this prompt. By the way, as I told you, we have to discuss this into details. Okay. Yeah. Now, the second update is no more read and write question type. The new interactive writing question replaces the module of read and write. Approximately, um, um, uh, Malak, it is the same. I mean, in read and write, you have five minutes to write about the prompt. So approximately, I don't, I don't have to say that it is completely similar, but approximately it's the same. But instead of reading and writing, uh, we have uh, this uh, form, which is the interactive writing question. Mm. Okay. Now, the fourth one is fill in the blanks a question type. It is the same if you remember the first module that we have discussed. We have to complete the sentence with mm. writing exactly the correct word. And it's not that big difference between the two modules. So this new question type is similar to read and complete. Okay. Okay. Except you will be given only one sentence and one word that you have to complete. So one sentence, as we notice in this picture, and only one word is going to be given to you just to complete the sentence. And absolutely, the sentence uh, should be meaningful. So approximately, it's the same of read and complete. Now, the fifth update is read and select format. If you remember, when we discussed this module, uh, Malak, we said that more or maybe some words, 14 or 15 words, if you remember, are going to be shown 
uh, in front of you and absolutely you have to select the real English words. This is the old one, the old format. So oh, okay. we exactly we and select. So, so this one is taking uh, off the test. So. Yeah, exactly. And this form is replaced with this one. So the new form is <coughs> sorry, is read and oh, okay. So it's uh, replaced uh, by this uh, exactly. module by this uh, by word. this module. So only one sentence, one word is going to be shown to you, and you have to decide if this word is a real English word or maybe no. So there is no fifteen words in the same oh, okay. page. Only one word, and you have to decide if this word uh, 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 is. Uh, correct or maybe no. Now oh. with this exactly the sixth uh, update is new question frequencies. Now the dual and go has also changed how frequently some questions appear on the test. If you remember when discussing some modules, for example, like read and select, read and select module is going to be shown to you from fifteen to eighteen times. Mm. Yeah, fill in the blanks from six to nine times, read and complete absolutely uh, from three to six uh, times, uh, or you have to do this module. Now, uh, exactly, this is the old one. Let me show you the old one. I Okay, this is the old one, and the above one is the new one. So this is the old uh, frequent uh, uh, questions uh, that are going to be shown to you. So if you notice that we have read and complete, read and select, listen and type, read aloud. These mm. modules are going to be shown from six, from four to six times each. This is the old one. Now I'm talking about okay. the old. Let me talk about the old one. Then we have to discuss the new one. Uh, read okay. about the photo, absolutely. Why, sorry, about the photo. This is what we are going to discuss I think today you have to do it three times. This is the old one again. Speak about the photo. You have to do it only once. We then write only once. We then speak only once. We listen and speak only twice. Writing sample or module only once. Speaking sample only once. Interactive reading two sets of six questions and interactive listening two sets of five to six questions. So this is the old one. Now the new one is above. Frequency, that means uh, it's the, the times of the, the times, times of, uh -huh. of question. For exactly. example, five examples or exactly six five modules or maybe six times you have to answer this question. This is the meaning of a frequency. Okay. Okay. Now read and select. Is going to be shown to you from 15 to 18 times. Fill in the mm -hmm. blanks, which is a new one, six to nine times. Absolutely, we have to discuss this into details. Don't worry. Read and complete from three to six times. Read aloud to three to six times. Listen and type six to nine times. Interactive reading, two sets of six questions. When I say two sets, two passages. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Interactive listening to recordings or two sets, and you have to answer the questions from five to six. Write about the photo three times. Interactive writing, one prompt, and you have two questions. Listen and, or two, uh, uh, one set and two questions. Listen and you speak, you have to do it twice. Speak about the photo, you have to do it only once. Read and speak only once. Writing sample only once is speaking sample only once. Okay. So this is the new, uh, 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 the new uh, scheme or structure of the Duolingo exam. This is the old one, as I told you. So so, the exam is uh, two hours or more than two hours? Approximately, yes. It's about two hours. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, approximately, it depends. So these are the new updates only let me say slight updates it's not it's not a complete let me say a complete update or something completely new it's not completely new so we notice that approximately the system the tips the strategies are going to be the same uh, that we discussed 
only as you notice that we have a new interactive writing or question and something new, which is instead of um, selecting maybe six or seven words out of 15, you have to decide every, if, uh, uh, um, I mean, every single word is going to be shown to you and you have to decide if this word is a real English word mm -hmm. or not. I mean, I'm like, the tips and the strategies that we have discussed are the same. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay.